Hi, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about different kind of mistakes you may do in IITM 2019 and so on, so that you may be careful about that. Okay, and I am making this video because uh, I have done a lot of mistakes in my IITM exam and it will help you a lot if I share my own experience, right? So the first mistake we should avoid in, suppose there is a value in kilojoule and there is there are another value uh, in joule you should not mix each other uh, suppose uh, take an example suppose you have a math mathematical problem uh, which you can solve by a thermodynamical equation that is delta g equals to delta h minus t delta s so you need to calculate the value of delta s and you know the value um, temperature delta h and delta g so suppose temperature temperature is in kelvin delta h is in joule but delta g is in kilojoule but you should be very careful in reading the question because you should avoid the value uh, that uh, delta g is in kilojoule and put the value and getting the answer and that is incorrect so the first thing you have to do that you have to read the question very carefully and then you need to uh, convert the delta g value from kilojoule to joule and then put it into the equation so this kind of questions uh, they prefer actually the, the administration prefer to give you in exam so that they want to confuse you just because these questions are very easy and the error you can do the mistakes you can do in this question is like that okay so you need to be very careful in that okay so the second mistake you uh, may do in IITM exam actually I have done already uh, in IIT jam exam in my exam and that was suppose a problem suppose from chemical kinetics and the question says suppose uh, the initial concentration a first order equation first order reaction and the initial concentration of reactant is 30 molar suppose and the uh, it something like this the line is written initial concentration is 30 molar and which reaches to 20 molar after suppose 10 minute so reaches to 20 molar that means the concentration of reactant after 10 minute is 20 molar if we uh, tell you if i tell you the equation uh, k, k that is rate constant which you need to calculate equals to 1 by t ln a by a minus x so a is the initial concentration a minus x is the concentration after time t that is 10 minute here right so a minus x value will be 20 not the value of the temp not the value of the concentration of the product that is x x is not 20 a minus x is 20 so you need to be very careful right in uh, this i have done that mistake in I, I have i i put the value of x 20 and getting another answer so that was wrong you should be very careful okay so the third error everyone um, actually it's not mistake but in the exam you will uh, think that why i uh, did not uh, read it before i why i did not know it so the mistake i will not take tell it as mistake but the problem is you need to know every unit conversion because suppose length length uh, conversion you know the relation between meter and centimeter but you don't know the relation between centimeter to picometer right or centimeter to nanometer so you just need to uh, you, you don't need to remember all the relation just need to remember three relation what was that what are that the three relation was um, relations are uh, one nanometer is equals to nano that is nine so it's very relative nano nine that is one nanometer equals to 10 to the power minus nine meter okay one armstrong is equals to 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter okay 1 armstrong is equals to 100 picometer okay so this relation that is 1 meter equals to 10 to the power 9 nanometer or 10, 1 nanometer equals to 10 to the power minus 9 meter then 1 cent, uh, armstrong is equals to 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter and 1 uh, armstrong is equals to 100 picometer okay so this relation you need to know and you will you can convert to each other and you will get every uh, length relation okay so you need to remember all this all three relation and from here 
you can uh, go anything anywhere okay so this you need to remember all uh, these three these relations right so the fourth error uh, everyone always or sometimes do this kind of mistakes that suppose you know uh, suppose a question mc question and you know the you know there are four options suppose and you know that the two options are incorrect okay and the other two option in between the other two options one option is correct so you may guess that 50 it's 50 50 chance so you may try that question but in jam what will happen suppose you don't know what what is the correct answer so you may try but don't answer my suggestion will be don't answer that type those type of questions because that may be your uh, prediction is not correct so you may get negative marks right so just don't answer them everyone in his life or in her life has done uh, that mistake uh, which is suppose uh, i have answered all the questions but i i can't answer 10 questions suppose 10 are mcq questions each question carries four marks suppose four marks and if you uh, do any wrong answer so uh, it will uh, cut minus one so my negative marking is minus one so you may think i will answer all 10 questions then i will get one uh, if some if i i got four questions correct and six six questions uh, wrong then four into four suppose this question carries four marks suppose four into four is equal to 16 and minus six that, that was wrong those are wrong so minus 10 uh, 16 minus 6 that will be 10 so uh, by trying this all 10 questions you may easily get 10 questions 10 marks but that actually is not gonna happen what will happen with me uh, most of the cases what happens with me uh, one question uh, gets correct and the other uh, nine questions going to be wrong so my suggestion will be not to answer those questions uh, in which you are not sure about so just take care of these four factors and just i am just suggesting you not to do mistakes whichever i have done in my life so jam 2019 already almost 60 to 70 days are left so just be prepared and don't do this kind of mistakes right so thank you thanks for watching